Alright. What's up, people? Sorry it took me so long to get this video out, but I felt like I needed to get this out today because tomorrow I'm doing two videos. Sorry if you're hearing the play in the background, but tomorrow I'm, um, I got two videos. So my first video is going to be, it's going to be another music related video where I don't know what I'm going to call this series, if I'm going to call it a series, but it's going to be me where I talk about bands that I love. I'm either going to call it that, even though it's super uncreative, or bands that made something like that. I'm, to the, the two, I'm, normally I'm going to do one, but because these two bands are so meaningful to me because they are kind of the two bands that I would really say got me into rock or at least like introductory so I'm doing two it's gonna be two and one it's gonna be Guns N' Roses and ACDC so I'm gonna be talking about why like I love them the video probably won't be super long but I want to get more music related stuff out and then like my main video tomorrow will be we're gonna probably since we just finished the alien franchise we're gonna probably do the ranking and i already know what my number one and two are i'll just spoil it alien and aliens are number one oh, number one is alien two is alien so that's already like a spoiler <laughs> but today we are here to talk about the movie predators which came out in 2010 um i i like this movie i think there are little issues like i didn't like the ending I, I, it's not that I hate it. I felt like it was just kind of a retread of the original one. You know, Royce, Adrian Brody's character just covers himself in mud and all that. It just, I would have preferred, and I'll, when I get to it, I'll kind of say how I would have fixed it. But overall, I like this movie. I thought the cast was good. The crew of characters, Walton Goggins, always great. The the Asian dude, um, Hanzo is his name. I, he was the Yakuza guy. I thought he was cool. I love the whole taking, like, fucked up, like, you know, humans or trained humans and put them on this predator planet. That is the biggest thing I love about this movie. I love that they tried something different. It was cool learning that there are different... I mean, we, we've we always known that, but in the movies, you kind of see it, but they don't really go into it. So it's kind of cool to see, like, you know, and this was the first solo, like, predator story since Predator 2, because you gotta remember... We after Predator Two was all the AVP stuff, you know. We got, in which I will re start reviewing. Like probably I don't know what day, but sometime this week we're gonna review the first AVP. I'm reviewing them as their own thing. I don't. I know some. What I was looking for a thumbnail for the Predator franchise because I was trying to do the ranking. Was I'm gonna do that do that later this week too. For some reason. The, all of them lump the AVP movies, but for me, I don't look at them as Predator movies or even Alien movies. I kind of look, that's kind of why I reviewed them in their own section because I don't look at them as, it's like how I did Freddy vs. Jason, kind of. But Predators was great. I thought it was awesome. He had some really solid kills. So the movie starts off, we're introduced to Royce, and since we're introducing, cheers. movie's always great when Danny Trejo's in it. I thought he was good. Even though he wasn't in it long. <coughs> you know. And we had a Russian. We had a Spetsnaz. We had the Israeli Defense Force. <coughs> and then we have uh, Topher Grace's character. Who's a doctor. <coughs> who's a, I'm just going to say it. The spoiler is he was like a serial killer. I thought that was good. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> <clears throat> I thought that was kind of stupid how they did that. I like Topher Grace, but <clears throat> I will never take him seriously as a bad guy. And it just comes off like, and I know this is a different franchise, but, you know, Alien always has that kind of character who you think you could trust, but is actually a smarmy asshole. I didn't think you needed to do that with Topher Grace. It actually would have been kind of interesting if they had just, he was a normal dude and he got caught up. You know, that would have actually been a far more interesting story. So, we are introduced, they kind of roam the jungle until they are attacked by the predator dogs, which are kind of cool. I thought that was kind of, 
And that's why, like, when I get to the Predator, I I will review that. I'm probably reviewing that Tuesday, and I'm not watching it. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'll probably. What I'll do is I'll watch like a Dead Meat. I'll watch Dead Meat's video because it's very. He watches the movie, so I can just kind of watch a condensed 20 minute version of the movie. I'll do that. I could suffer that, but I'm not sitting sitting through the whole thing. They brought Predator dogs, but I'm like, why? You already did this in this movie, and they changed the design, which look at, I actually, but in this one, I actually dug the design, and then this is where we're, it's revealed we have three larger Predators, you know, the Super Predators, which were kind of cool, which are, um, you know, and, um, the team kind of real, um, the girl, if I remember her name, her name is, uh, Isabel? I, yeah, it's Isabel. Um, she remembers the story. So I love the little callbacks to the first movie. And then this is where we meet Lawrence Fishburne, who's like this nomad who was brought on this planet but survived by uh, hiding in like, I'm a, I think it, from, it was either like a ship or some kind of structure he was hiding in. And he basically goes into the whole history of what the, you know, the, the different predators are and the whole war between this group of predators in the originals i thought that was kind of cool and then it was kind of cool to see a cap a captured predator which is basically the it's i don't think it's supposed to be it's obviously not the exact one because the original one died but it's basically the same it had the same look you know the same helmet the same kind of armor so he, he goes into basically explaining the story originally apparently um this was supposed to be arnold but arnold wanted more money I, which is kind of sad. I actually would have been fine if Arnold was in this one. But I thought, like, his character was cool. I wish we got a bit more of him. Just because it's, it's Lawrence Fishburne. Give him something to do. Because I felt like in this, he's just kind of... Yeah, he's basically the dialogue. He's all the... Oh, we're gonna... He's the guy who's gonna give you the history. Which is cool. You know, it's awesome learning about, like... Because, you know, in the movies, they don't really go into the differences. Like... You know, they tangentially go into it, but this one, they actually went into it. So these, the, the differences between the Super Predators and the original, the Super Predators are far more aggressive, and I think they are, they don't have honor. Like, the original, like the regular Predators, I'm not going to say their actual name, because it's like Yatya or Yatcha. I don't really like calling it that. I just, I just say Predators, just to be simple. So... The regular Predators have, like, an honor code, even if they are, like, hunters... The super predators are supposed to be like far more aggressive and have basically have no honor. So, um, so Royce's plan is he wants to free the regular predator. See if maybe it will help them. Sorry if you're hearing a fucking helicopter. God damn it. But anyway, um, so the predators attack and basically kill. They kill uh, Lawrence Fishburne, who has, like, a predator mask. Which, I'm actually not gonna lie, that mask he had actually looked pretty cool. Would have been kind of cool to see that on a predator. Um, Nikolai sacrifices himself. I actually thought this was done well. One of my favorite scenes, though, is you have Walton Goggins in the... I don't remember the black dude's name. They have a discussion, but he has some really good lines in this. He's basically, like, the comedian. And he's, like, a death row inmate. Walton Goggins is such a good actor. He's like that. He's a character actor, you know. He was in Jane, he was in Django. He was in a Hateful Eight. The only movie I thought he was fucking wasted in was Ant Man Two, <laughs> but um, oh, no, oh, this is where we get to kind of like this cool part where Hanzo, who has like this, you know, katana, fights the other predator. I think the name was like because I think each of them had like little names. Like, the main one, I think, was, like, Berserker or something, and then one of them was called Eagle Predator. They had interesting looks, I'm actually not gonna lie, really. In, instead of the two blades on the wrist, they had one. Like, one giant blade. So Hanzo and the Predator kind of have, like, a little bit of a standoff. And that was actually really dope, I'm not gonna lie. It was kind of cool, a little bit. The one Predator actually had some honor, and basically they sliced each other, and they died but really cool scene i thought it was really like i said i like most of this movie it's just mainly like the second half so royce 
fleas for the larger predator. And I think this is where it's revealed um, that Edwin is basically a serial killer. Um, and t poisons Isabel and tries to kill her, but Royce kills him. It, it was stupid. I, I mean, it wasn't needed. It really wasn't a needed twist. It was, it felt kind of forced. It was like, oh, he's serial killer now. It's like, nah, it actually would have been an interesting take if he had just been a regular dude. He was a doctor. Just let him be a regular doctor. That would have actually been interesting if they went with, oh no, they actually picked up a regular dude who's just a doctor living his life, like normal life, and now he's in this shit. It would have been interesting. And his death could have been done better instead of the forced, oh, he's a bad guy. It's like, no. Because there's no point. Because the true bad guy is the predator. You don't... <clears throat> Humble opinion. In these type of movies, same thing with Alien. You don't really need a secondary bad guy. Those movies, the bad guy is the creature. Let the predators be the bad guy. You don't need this... It felt it was very jankily done. Like, oh, this guy's the bad guy now. It's like... And I like Topher Grace. It's just, he, I can't take him serious. That's the other thing. I can't, I mean, we all saw Spider-Man 3, right? And I don't hate that movie like everyone else does, but he was not good as Venom. He's not a bad guy. Especially when you don't build it up. I don't, I watched it, and I don't remember them even hinting he's a bad guy. They just kind of, oh, here. So he gets killed, and, uh, Royce, um basically uses uh edwin as a you know a distraction he frees uh the smaller predator or the regular predator that's kind of what i call it regular predator and uh versus the main lead bad predator was actually kind of cool i actually thought that was a cool fight but it didn't last long the big predator wins and then royce we kind of basically get the first predator ending where he covers himself in makeup and uh he decapitates the predator with an axe, and, and then the movie ends by they. Him and Isabella are left. It's a good movie. I just think it has a weak ending. I didn't really like that they just did the retread of the first movie. I just I don't know. For me, <clears throat> the the easiest fix really is they should have just had it to where the predator frees itself. The smaller one. And while the Predator, the other one, has, you know, Royce dead to rights, the Predator comes for the save. And then maybe, like, the Predator gets its technology back and just blows itself up along with the other one. Kind of, and then Royce and Isabel are able to get away. I think that should, I didn't, I think it needed a stronger ending. Just because, you know, we, we just talked about, you know, Predator 1 had a dope ending. You know, Predator blows itself up. Predator 2, we see the other Predators. I think... Predators needed a strong ending. I think that is the biggest issue with this movie. It's a great action flick. I think it has yeah, some really dope kills. Really dope, like, violence. 14 people killed in this movie. So you got some deaths. But my issue is, like I said, the retread of the first movie and the kind of final act, really. The only difference is he uses an axe in the end, but it's practically the same. He covers himself in mud makes makeshift weapons it's like come on I, I didn't need to see that again especially like like i said predator one and then predator two have like awesome endings whereas this one's like oh we're just gonna um basically just do the first one again i don't know but overall i love the movie i actually think the score was good you still get a little bit of that sylvester score in there um, I do wish we got a bit more of Lawrence Fishburne's character, but, you know, it is what it is. But I will say, though, I do dig about this movie. It's the violence, but I also really love the lore. I think that's the biggest thing. I love the lore around this movie because, you know, you, you have the different groups of predators. I know in the comics you have the Bad Bloods, which basically in the movie, that's kind of what the super predators are almost where they're like predators that don't have honor, they're far more aggressive and stuff like that, and they have no problem basically killing their own, you know? So, I like that you get a little bit of that in this. Um, I like the planet, I like the predator dog designs. I like a lot of the characters, even if you don't get a lot of them. 
I thought, you know, you know, you got a little bit of him. I like I said, I also don't really like how Eric was done or Topher Grace. I think that reveal was they it didn't he didn't need to be made into a bad guy. He really did. So okay, so the predator's name is Tracker Falconer, so I knew it was something with like a bird. And then Berserker. So Falconer's the one that uh fought that got killed by Hanzo. So that's kind of cool. They have all like all, all the predators always have like even in AVP, like the predators have like a little bit of a nickname. Edwin wasn't needed. It should have just been the predators. It was just very forced, and it was like for one line, and then he gets killed. <laughs> it's like, what's the point? What was the point of that? What was the point of wasting that screen time? If you, like, I would have been kind of interesting if he had just been a regular dude. <clears throat> you know, like a wrong place, wrong time type of deal. Instead of trying to force him to be the bad guy. But overall, great film. I'm like, definitely would watch it again. And for me, there's only three Predators. This, these three. I don't count the Predator. I'm not counting this new garbage that supposedly they're doing. I'm not counting that one either. So, but out of 10, I'd give it like a 7. 7.5. I think it's close to an 8. It's just, if you fix that ending. But other than that, um... Tomorrow, uh, Guns N' Roses ACDC video, and um, the and I'm reviewing uh, Alien franchise. I'll probably do the fixing Mummy Return Mummy Three probably sometime this week. I might just fit fit that in. But uh, other than that, I enjoyed uh, doing the Predator franchise. I know I'm not done with it yet. I got technically one more, but to me, this is the true conclusion right now. And then like the Predator comics, so. But other than that, I'm going to take one more hit, you know. I know I do. Cheers. <coughs> so I got two more two more videos from tomorrow. And then uh yeah. <coughs> As usual, fuck Warner Brothers. Fuck. <coughs> so I'm gonna start that over. Fuck Warner Brothers. Fuck Disney. <coughs> fuck Hank Azaria. And uh, fuck Freddy Bitch Jr. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Peace. <coughs> <coughs>